Hi, it's me, Louis. Today I'm here to explain a bit more about the Ruby and Teardrop project. Let's start. It's just like Phineas and Ferb, but if you don't know the show, no worries, I got you. Basically, it follows the adventures of Ruby and Teardrop, on their time waiting for a new teapot episode. Each day, the girls and their friends take on some ambitious new project, sometimes to help someone in need, but often just to create something fun and not to die of boredom. Ruby! This is a noise flower who constantly attempts to get them in trouble by revealing their actions to Lollipop. Meanwhile, across somewhere far, the wannabe evil villain, Dr. Purpleface, continually attempts to take over the Goiki Canal and sometimes Yoyo Land with his various innator devices. And Rocky the Rock, the girl's favorite little buddy and the secret ancient, consistently foils his plans on the behalf of the OWCA and its commanding officer, General Golf Ball. At the end of each episode, the two plots intersect to erase all traces of the girl's project just before Flower can successfully show it to Lollipop. When does it take place? Well, it takes place in the present, in Teapot. How can Teardrop visit Ruby? Well, since Teapot takes a while to get a new episode out, it doesn't hurt for Teardrop to visit Ruby a couple of times. I guess she really likes going places without telling she anybody. Has anyone actually seen Teardrop? She's been missing for like a day now. Hmm, well, I'm sure we'll see her again sooner than we think. In case you ever ask, how or why there's a backyard in a house? It's simple. Ford decided to create houses for people to sleep and chill in. Not for everyone though, and some need to live together. An example being Flower, Lollipop, and Ruby. Technically Teardrop too, but she's sometimes busy at Teapot. Why would Flower care about Ruby and Teardrop making crazy and dangerous stuff? Unlike Phineas and Ferb, they could just get recovered. Well, let's just say, Flower cares a lot about Ruby and Teardrop, her best friend in BFP. Sounds awesome, right? To make stuff clearer, I made a drawing of the character list. They're old, but they may change. Match is Isabella, Snowball is Buford, and Lightning is Balshit. Note, even though Isabella has a crush on Phineas, Match will not be in love with Ruby. I'll even put a reminder at the top of the screen. Everyone knows each other from Ions, and so it fits. Except for Tidra, but that doesn't matter. Wondering where the rest of Free Smart is? No worries, they'll take a part in their project as well. They just don't have a character role from Phineas and Ferb. Going to the second row, Flower is Candace and Lollipop is mom. Another note, they're all friends, no families or whatever. Rocky is Perry, Major Monogram is General Golf Ball, and Tennis Ball is Carl. He may or may not have glasses. Purple Face is Dr. Doofenshmirtz, Vanessa, the daughter of Doofenshmirtz, is Eggie. Though this isn't confirmed yet and may change. Remember the friends rule. Eggy will just visit Purpleface time to time because he needs emotional support. Needle is Stacy and Pen is Jeremy. Both usually hang out with Candace, so basically they're just friends. Now, why is Stacy Needle? Well, I always wondered how Flower and Needle would interact since they never talk to each other and so in this project would just make them friends that hang out a lot. Best friends? No, that will be Teardrop. How can you forget? Okay, just maybe they are best friends. Oh, you're still here. Great job. Here's an image of golf ball that I made. Oh my god, bro. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh man, what the fuck, man? How to audition? Well, I'm gonna tell you soon. But first, if you want to audition, you gotta have a Discord account and join the server. We're currently really in search for animators. You're lucky to be an animator, cause you don't have to be really good. Just be good and decent. Usually it's recommended to have Adobe Animate, but I know y'all are pretty good with other programs like Flip a Clip or IBS Main. You at least need to have the skill to know how to lip sync. It'll sometimes be an animatic and not have the mouth smooth. Not to stress animators, of course. 
like myself. But if you're gonna audition, try to show me your best at Swoofus animation and prove that you can lip sync. Voice actor is kinda hard. We're actually no longer searching for any voice actors except for Lightning and Taco. But some of y'all really want to voice act. I hereby present you extra characters. That's right, some characters don't appear in the storyboard but can fit in the script to be an extra character. If you don't voice act as blocky, sure, but you gotta have a really good impression. Like I said, we don't really need more voice actors right now. Don't wanna do fancy professional works? We got mini roles. An artist, if you wanna make art for fun, a background artist, a motivator role to motivate the creator, aka me, to not cancel the project, and the biggest of them all, the singer role. Exactly! No need to hear my voice anymore. You can sing now. It's your turn. The auditions will end on the 15th of May, or else we absolutely cannot proceed to finish the episodes. Except for the mini roles, those are never closed. And I'll end the video by saying that I'll have a Q&A. Have fun thinking about questions and I'll have fun answering them. See you later then. And let's hope that the project gets finished.